Welcome to New Canic. Today here in New Canic, we have a 2020 Buick Enclave. And on this Buick Enclave, we have our check engine light is on. And so I've checked the codes to see what that engine light potentially is from. And now we're going to uh, go through the list of codes that came up and go to start the replacement of one sensor. There could be communication of more than one, but I know which sensor I'm going to start with to replace it this time. Okay, so we have the uh, the UCAN2, the UCANIC scanner hooked up and we've read the codes and we've come back with seven different fault codes in the engine control module that we're going to take a look at and and work on. So we have a P0097-00, P00C7-00, P00F4-00, P0102-00, and then a P0113-00, and the P2227-00, and then we have a P2229-00. So we have the seven different fault codes that are being caused by one uh, particular sensor in this case. There could be more cases or maybe another sensor. Whereas this one sensor communicates with a lot of other units and so it's throwing off all of these different codes. Um, intake air temperature, intake air pressure, intake air humidity, mass airflow sensor. And so being that this has mass airflow sensor, we're gonna start with that one to go ahead and replace that one. And hopefully the rest of these are kicked on by that. And there's always possibles of different things. Intake air temperature, biometric pressure, and a biometric pressure sensor, right? So all of these are being caused at this moment by the mass airflow sensor. So um, in that mass airflow sensor, it's sensing a lot of information and communicating a lot of information through your um, engine control module. And so if we've got different readings, it's not doing different things. One of the symptoms of witnessing uh, starts and runs, initially it took a little bit to start, and then the idle was pretty high. But then when the idle dropped back down, there's a hesitation in the fuel pedal. When you hit the fuel pedal and you try to start driving, um, you've got a hesitation that you would have not had previously. So let's go ahead through the process in which you go to be able to replace your mass airflow sensor. So we have our mass airflow sensor located on the uh, right hand side of the engine bay. We've got our air box right here and we have this sensor that goes into there. So to remove the sensor we need to pull back the um, red tab to be able to unlock it and then be able to depress the black portion of that tab and then be able to unclip it. We have two bolts right here that are of a size T20. And so we'll remove those two bolts. And with the two bolts removed, now we will be able to remove this sensor. And then you get a new one and be able to put a new one in. There is a mass airflow cleaner, which is some type of spray. 50-50 uh, chance on whether it works. So it's a lot easier just sometimes to rule it out and buy a, a new sensor to do that. So you gotta make sure that the uh, surface is clean. Uh, the gasket is on your new one and then get stuck in there when you take the old one out. And also you're doing an inspection to make sure that all of your intake lines are connected and that um, we don't have other air leaks because that could cause issues with the two. But you'll take your new sensor and be able to slide it in there to replace it, line it up. There you go. And tighten the, uh, the two screws that hold it in and then be able to make your electric connection hit your double safety lock and now you would go through your scanner and um, clear the codes and run your vehicle um, drive it like you normally do and um, see if that code or any of the codes come back on and you may have to look at something else but in this case um, the uh, mass airflow sensor is where we started by deductive um, that's the number one sensor that it said was bad there's other readings that were bad in the codes but 
and, and said that the mass airflow sensor was stuff. So I will clear the code out and then just go ahead and drive your vehicle like you normally do, and at least for a week or so, a few cycles, and, and see that it uh, hopefully doesn't come back home. Thanks for watching. You can agree you can be the mechanic.